Hello friends, in this video we will practice another figure. Uh, we are making very suggestive figure and uh, we are making the context for it. It's a cycle rickshaw kind of uh, uh, a subject, uh, someone riding a cycle rickshaw. So we have made, we have suggested uh, the elements of the cycle, the handlebar and the wheels, and now we are suggesting the pelvis of the rider and the upper body. So we are uh, kind of imagining the uh, imagining and suggesting the legs. So we may not, we don't have to be very accurate here. Just suggest suggestivity is what we are going here for. Uh, the the hand so it should it should have a general kind of uh, the it should be uh, matching to the to the the kind of uh, action the i mean the the leg the hands etc they they should be just somehow matching and it should be convincing but it doesn't need to be very precise right now once now uh, we are suggesting the rest of the part of the cycle rickshaw and uh, see, as I told, we are not going for accur accuracy here, just a suggestive one. And we are suggesting the, the, the shape. It is uh, sort of a silhouette kind of uh, uh, an approach. And uh, the inner portion of uh, it is very, very dark. So uh, we, we don't add uh, too much of uh, information there within so usually some passenger will be sitting inside but uh, in this particular situation we are making it very simple just having the rider alone so this is a very uh, dark thing so for this image i am i am taking an indian watercolor uh, paper indian handmade watercolor paper and the brand is chitrapatch and uh, we are using uh, uh, mission gold uh, watercolors so if you like this kind of uh, suggestive figure drawing uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and also pressing the uh, notification so that you get notified whenever i release new videos uh, also you can consider uh, to share and uh, comment on this video so i think we are mostly done on on uh, on this approach uh, and uh, we are getting a sufficient feel of uh, the, the overall position some bit of highlight maybe we, we will have to do some kind of accents it's a uh, suggestive shadow i'm not very clear about uh, what should be the precise shadow but uh, we are just kind of working it out okay so the, for the shadows i am using uh, just some gray blue color and uh, for the dark tone, I have used uh, a mix of uh, a neutral tint and burnt sienna and some blues. And uh, for the figure, uh, you know it is the yellow, uh, permanent yellow uh, color and some red color. And the color actually doesn't make uh, too much of I mean difference. You can use any matching colors. So if you have any questions or comments suggestions please do let me know in the comment comment box below i will try to include as much as possible thanks for watching this uh, video and uh, we will come with uh, more of more videos of this sort and if you have any suggestion as i told please let me know uh, thanks again we will see you in the next video bye